Welcome to Cryptozoic Con 2. Two. My name is uh, Jamie Kiskis. I'm the Vice President of Product Development and Marketing at Cryptozoic. And I want to say on behalf of all of us, we sincerely hope that all is well with you uh, and yours during these crazy yet important times. Um, we're back for another virtual Comic Con because we enjoyed the first one so much and we got so much great support from all of you. So we wanted to do it again. Um, over the next two days, we'll have panels for each of our product categories. We didn't have that last time. So each day, starting at 12, there'll be a collectibles panel. Uh, and then we'll have go into a trading cards panel and then a games playthrough and panel. Uh, so there will be breaks uh, for five minutes in between each of them so you can reset. And for some of you who are uh, here for the exclusives that are available after each of the panels uh, for collectibles and trading cards, you'll be able to, to go online and immediately get those as well. Um, so like I said, we have exclusives for you. Um, we have some surprises. We have some great guest panelists that we're, we're excited uh, for you to meet and get to see over the, over the course of the next two days. Uh, we're super passionate about what we do and, uh, having you here is really important to us and we, we really appreciate you being here and, uh, please ask questions during using the chat. Um, please be, uh, courteous. Uh, or we'll kick you off. Um, mm -hmm. With that, I want to turn it over to uh, our first panel, and it's Amanda who leads our the, our the charge on our collectibles products, and she's got some um, exciting announcements for you and, and some cool stuff to show you. So with that, I'll turn it over to Amanda. Awesome. Cool. Well, welcome to CryptoZoicon. Um, I'm really excited to be back and to share some really cool exclusives. Um, I'm not sure if the chat is on. Uh, Jamie might have had it turned off, but Either way, I hope that you're here and happy to see what we have for you today. So um, one of the special things about CryptoZoicon are our exclusives. So I have a particularly special exclusive to share with you today, and that would be the Little Bombshell Noir Harley Quinn and Joker 2-pack. There we go. Oh, it looks like chat started up again. Um, our team has done an absolutely amazing job with this box. The attention to detail is really just way too much fun. Um, the gold foil, or excuse me, silver foil just, ah, just really kicks it off real nice. I love it. So let's get inside this and see these figures. Oh my gosh, I asked my boyfriend for a knife to like unbox this with and he hands me this. I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> gotta watch out here for the big leagues, with our big fancy knives. All right, here we go. So this is actually our very first two pack that we've ever done. So that's definitely really exciting. I've liked the new uh, format myself. Um, so this part will slide completely off. So they're really easy to get in and out of the box. So I will mention that some of them, like this one, um, the film was actually left on the inside of the box. So if you ever have a glossy, like, sort of like filmy, you can always just like kind of get in there and peel, peel the, the, the film off if it, if it looks too cloudy. Um, anyways, so they'll sit in the little tray like this. So you can see them. There they go. Ta -da! Gently pull them out of the box. They popped right free. First up, here's Joker. So as we're slowing down, we, may, we probably don't, we don't have plans to release a series four of the bombshells as we've done a lot of the iconic characters already. They're numbered on the bottom. Um, so doing these little like two pack exclusives is a way to continue doing you know, characters in like, Noir Harley wouldn't exist otherwise. Um, a lot of other characters, you know, didn't get a chance to have the Noir treatment um, or anything like that. So doing these little uh, two pack exclusives are kind of a way to keep fans, you know, collecting and keep doing some of these character variants that we would definitely love to include, but um, don't necessarily have like a, a whole lineup to include them in. Here's his We'll turn around. Yeah, so that is the noir um, Harley Quinn and Choker. Now I will give away this special exclusive to one of you guys. So what I want you to do 
is to answer a question for me. What bombshell two pack variant do you want to see next? Because we definitely want to make more of these. So what, what twofer, what, you know, uh, you know, powerful in pink Harley and Wonder Woman. I don't know, maybe, you know, just, just, you know, tell me, tell me what you want. And then uh, I will pick a random uh, attendee here at the end to win these two guys right here. All right. So that is not the only thing that we have going today. We also have a found inventory sale. So if you are familiar with Cryptozoic, we did one um, at the end of uh, last year and it was able to um, make some different exclusives that were uh, limited edition where we have like, sometimes we can't always sell all of them or we only have like five or six left. So it's, it's easier to save them all for an event and then we will put them on our e-store in very limited quantities. So they're very, very rare. Um, we already have a couple of found inventory exclusives on there, including one of my personal favorites, the black and cold Batman. All right. So, um, the back and gold Batman is limited to 300 pieces and it is actually part of Warner Brothers 80 years of Batman program. So we actually did jump through some hoops to get that logo on there. So I'm very excited that it's part of their collection. Um, and here he is. There's that guy. So some of you might be already familiar with him. He came out at LA Comic Con at the end of 2019, but he is very special to me and he, um, I think is just like one of the, I love black and gold Batman personally. Um, I, I have a soft spot for the old school blue and gray, but like, come on, black and gold. Um, and so not only did Batman get the black and gold treatment, but so did Batgirl. So I wanted to take some time to showcase this like super cool foil sticker because I know we have some photos of these, but you don't always get to see the textures, they don't really show off the same way. So I really wanted to take a moment to show you guys at least two of my favorites that we have. So these are on the uh, Cryptozoic uh, exclusive store right now, these guys. Um, and so you can pick up the Batman and the Batgirl right now. The, uh, the Noir, Harley Quinn and Joker will be available after this panel. All right. So chat should be fixed. So if you have any more uh, fun ideas, feel free to drop them. Um, let's see. Oh, and um, if you noticed on the graphic, um, there were, um, so by the way, I switched the chat so that only, you, you can still send me messages, but it'll kind of calm down there for you. Um, so this is going to also be available. Not this one particular, this one is mine, but the, um, the exclusive, the employee appreciation holiday exclusive. So um, we teased the Mera on the graphic for Cryptozoicon. And then for um, in the sale, there will also be 2018 employee edition. So for those of you who aren't familiar with the employee edition, um, this holiday exclusive was released um, in Hot Topic and through retail, except it didn't have the gold appreciation sticker and it didn't have the gold metallic base. So we do a limited edition figure that we share with um, employees and partners. And these are only given away to um, people who are important to Cryptozoic, who work with Cryptozoic and things like that. So they're very rare to find because they're gifts um, and they don't have a traditional retail sale. And so um, we make, uh, let's see, there's 200 of this lady and then there were 300 of the holiday Maras. And you know, sometimes at the end of like, I think we have like, I don't know, 10 of these left, like not enough that, you know, and we've already given up, moved on to the next year. Regardless, we still have some left even after giving them out to a lot of different folks. So we wanna give it a chance to, for the fans to own them and to um, add them to their collection as they are particularly rare with the uh, gold base and um, the gold sticker. So these are also numbered. I'll brag a little bit. Number two, that's right, number two. So anyways, um, also a uh, good quick notes um, for any bombshell collectors, retroprotection.com, uh, completely unaffiliated, but, um, Retro Protection does offer um, 
sleeves, plastic sleeves, so that you can um, protect and maintain your rare bombshells. Um, let's see, what else do I have? Um, ooh, I have something that I can share with you for tomorrow. Um, I will be talking about some of our other exclusives tomorrow, um, one of which will be this. This was unannounced. We have our very first uh, enamel pin. We're going to do some exclusive enamel pins. Our very first enamel pin will be announced and released tomorrow um, as a surprise for CryptozoaCon members. Um, so be sure to tune in tomorrow at 12 to see what it is. But that's all I'll tell you today. Cool. All right. So let's see. I will go ahead. Oh no, Facebook. That's too bad. All right. Um, I'll go and check out some of our Q&A and see um, if there's any questions. All right. Very cool. Um, let's see. So somebody, uh, let's see, Seth Regis asked, any plans to add super fans to that list? That's a very good question, but also it is hard to quantify <laughs> um, because I'm sure we have a great many super fans out there. Um, we have sent them to some of the admins of our fan groups um, because they are very near and dear to us as well. And they have also helped us with a lot of these, um, these events um, and sort of managing the fan groups is very, you know, important and helpful. Um, so there's definitely, definitely not unheard of. And we are definitely very happy to have our fan support that we do. Um, and so we definitely love to get fans involved. And so this is probably, you know, um, a very good way to do that too with the, um, with the, uh, the sort of sale uh, to make them available. All right. Well, let's see. Are there any other questions or anything like that that I can go over while I pick a winner? Feel free to send them Am to me. Amanda, there is a question oh. from Tyson. Will there be other items in the inventory sale that will be a surprise? Yes. We also have not announced quite a few of them. Um, so there, uh, let's see. So the ones that we have announced are the Holiday Appreciation Mara, the Holiday Appreciation Harley. Um, the Batman and Batgirl are already on the store now, if you'd like. Um, let's see. Worth coming to check out. Yes. For sure. There's some most great definitely. stuff on there. Amazing. Especially if you're a fan of gold. Yes. Uh, speaking of that, the next question is from Lewis. He says, are there going to be golden goddesses this year? Um, are there going to be golden goddesses this year? Um, unfortunately, with all of the COVID-19 and San Diego Comic-Con sort of um, events, no, not traditionally. Golden goddesses definitely are not over, but I will let you know that our release schedule has changed. And so um, there definitely will be upcoming golden goddesses, but it won't be our traditional like three sets um, or even just like a, a San Diego Comic-Con Golden Goddess. They're definitely not over, but they are kind of delayed and rescheduled. There, there, will, there will probably be a Golden Bob though this year, will there not? Oh yeah, that's true. That is true. So maybe not a Golden Goddess, but there is Golden Bob. So he will be coming later this year um, for sure. So that's definitely a lot of fun. And you can hear more about Golden Bob and the rest of our Kripkins friends and just Bob in general um in the panel tomorrow here's here's an interesting one i don't know how much information you can give on this one um but the question is any chance of a pumps series two in the future um unfortunately um no uh the uh pumps might continue um in a different way we still haven't completely stopped thinking about pumps but if you are specifically talking about like DC Pump Series 2, the small one, like just that whole like line, the DC pumps, DC pumps will not get a second line. But we're still, we aren't done with the idea just yet. We're still playing around with like what the future of pumps could look like. But I don't believe that it'll be like another traditional release. Does that make sense? Yes. <laughs> Very political. Nice job. <laughs> Um, a side. <laughs> another another question is we are ready for the new Catwoman to come out. That's me not really too. a question, I'd say. Me so too. please. Me too. Me too. Me so, too. Me too. So, so what are we looking like on that one? 
And wouldn't there be a golden goddess with that one too? Of course. <laughs> All of the seven inch ladies always get a, uh, get a, get a golden goddess if I have anything to say about it. Sean asked, will there be a holiday Bob? Of course. He, Bob is getting such a star treatment. Um, it's absolutely unreal. He's way too much fun. Uh, we really want him to be a character that can just like touch anything and everything. Um, since he is already integrated in trading cards and games and collectibles, like, I mean, he's our brand. He's our mascot. We definitely want him to touch absolutely everything and um, get as many different versions of him as possible. Um, also, um, I was going to announce this tomorrow, but I will go over it again tomorrow. But we are even going to do custom one of one Bob figures. We're going to send them out to um, different toy artists and things like that to um, do their own fun spin and take on our mascot, Bob, um, who just has a life of his own. So I'm really excited to see how that turns out. But more info on that tomorrow. Here is one from uh, a Kyle W. <laughs> I know who he is. Ever consider doing a Snyder Cut version of the Gal Gadot seven inch figure? Ooh, definitely gonna have to look into that, but definitely not off the table. All right. Anyone have any other questions? We have a few spaces open. Let me see. I will go ahead and pick a winner at random. Let me see. All right. The winner is uh, Tyson L, Harley and Joker Golden Goddess. That right. is pretty solid. What does Tyson have to do? Yeah, no, that's a, that's a great idea. Um, I know some of the characters already got a Golden Goddess edition in the trading card sets. Um, if you're not familiar, um, we also do trading cards, the bombshell trading cards, and each of the box of bombshell trading cards comes with a figure. And so um, the figures were all Golden Goddesses or bronze variants. Um, and so I know a lot of characters got the Golden Goddess treatment already through the, through the um, trading card set, but it might be fun to release either a two-pack of them or, you know, going back to get the characters that we haven't done that didn't get a, 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 a Golden Goddess. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure if Batgirl ever got a Golden Goddess. I'll have to check. But that would be another fun, definitely a fun way to do it. So, Tyson, be sure to message us on Facebook. Um, so that we can get your prize all sorted out and shipped to you. So yeah, congrats. Someone asked, is Zoom chat better for comments or Facebook? Yes, yes, Zoom, Zoom is a little bit better because I think Facebook um, crashes crashed a little bit. So um, Zoom is definitely best. Okay, anything else you wanna reveal? We have a few minutes left. Oh, uh, Sean asked, what about a seven inch Joker? Um, we definitely have thought about that. Definitely not off the table. Um, he's definitely a fan favorite of mine. We have nothing official planned, but it's definitely an idea that always gets tossed around. Um, I don't know. That'd be an interesting question to ask you guys. Uh, which would you rather see? Would you rather see another bombshell lady like Raven, Starfire, you know, one that we haven't got to yet, or do one of the guys like Joker? Or I know that Batman got talked about a lot. Um, I don't know. I think I'm a little more partial to Joker. I love his designs. It's so much fun. <laughs> awesome. All right. Any chance to do the original uh, Lucia version of Starfire? Let's see. That yeah, one's the see. one where she's uh she kind of has like a lot of drapery and things like that the 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 um firefighter one was was a second version right fire spinner. oh fire spinner yeah yep yeah um possibly um that's one of those things where i might just have to do a poll and see which one you guys like best awesome cool okay all right. Well, I think that's all that I have. Um, any other questions? Any last minutes? Oh, death would make a great bombshell. Uh, Jesse just uh, commented. Uh, she's definitely on our radar too. So I'll have to. I'll have to post. Um, if you haven't already joined our uh, fan group on Facebook, uh, Cryptozoic DC Bombshells, I host a lot of different polls in there. 
Um, so questions like that about which bombshell do you want, you know, which would be the best, uh, which ones do you want first? Doesn't necessarily even have to be, you know, limited to just one, just which one first. Um, so be sure to um, keep up to current news. That way um, we have some wonderful admins that keep everything up to date and interact with uh, us all the time. Um, so, yeah. A lot of times they know more than we do. Yeah. About our products, <laughs> at least more than me, not you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, so if uh, we are going to end this one now and the sale uh, of that, uh, the, that exclusive will go on sale in yep. uh, five minutes. Uh, yep. we'll later on it. at 12, at uh, what is it, one fifty-five, the found inventory items will go on sale. Um, any other uh, things? Some people got on late, Amanda, and they wanted to know if there was anything that uh, you can run through real quick that you can announce that is going to be on the found inventory sale. Yes, sure thing. Um, let's see. One of the biggest announcements that I had was this little lady's going to be there. So not only will we have the employee uh, edition uh, Mara for uh, 2019, we also have the 2018 holiday appreciation of. Harley Quinn. So they are very limited. So be sure to get there fast. They will probably sell out pretty fast. Cause like I said, we, we gave out almost all of them and then now it's just gotten to the point where we only have a few left. So be sure to hop on fast. Um, any, any other tips for people when they go on to find those, because if they start to load up their, their cart, they'll get, uh, they won't be able to get everything they want if something's not there. So is it better to go in and just buy one, come back, buy one, come back? What do you recommend? Yeah, no, that's definitely a good strategy. So the way that our store works, the way that the software is set up, if you put it in your cart, it is not yours. Um, it's removed from our inventory when the transaction goes through. So um, it's best if there's something that you really want, put the stuff you really want in your cart, buy it, and then come back for more um, because that's when the quantity will be nixed out. So a lot of times people run into issues where they have stuff in their cart and they're in the middle of the paying and it'll sell out while they're paying which is a, really a shame, but there's not much that we can do to restructure our store. Um, so just be sure to get in, buy the thing that you want, check out, and then it's yours. It's yours when you check out. Um, so be sure to get in there and um, get the things you want. <laughs> right, right. And so that's good. We'll close this down so people have a time to get in there, uh, for, yeah. at least for the first um, exclusives here. Real oh, quick thing. log in, log in, because Cryptozoic, yeah. the Cryptozoic store, uh, has its own um, sort of login account as well as the Cryptozoic website. I don't think you need to be logged into both, but you definitely need to be logged into the Cryptozoic store. Um, so make sure that that doesn't slow you down. So much pressure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the uh, one quick final one from Sean is asked, is there any 2020 employee appreciation in the works? Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. It's kind of a Bobby year. So yeah. maybe it'll, it'll be Bob. <laughs> All right. Thank you all so much. We appreciate it. Great job, Amanda. Thank you for your update. Yeah, of course. Thanks, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And we'll see you back. Uh, trading cards.